Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at the Airblade UAV bolt. Featuring Airblade 1104, 7500 kV motors, Cicada 10 amp ESC, F4 flight controller with OSD. I don't recommend this flight controller. Jim Fan 2035 props, Ishin TX01 camera and VTX. I took off the circular polarized antenna. It weighs 66.6 grams. The camera mount weighs 4.3 grams. I attached a micro buzzer. Bottom plate must be about 3 millimeters. I've been flying with my LiPo 3S batteries. That battery weighs 44.6 grams. So this is a super simple stack. We've just got our 4-in-1 ESC down here. You can pick anything of your choice. Uh, cicadas are good. The Racer Star 12 amps, I've used those. Um, and then you pick your flight controller. Like I stated previously, I don't recommend this. This is one of two of the four that I have actually working. And actually, this particular board, if you don't arm right away, you actually have to reboot the uh, flight controller, which you can do through the OSD. And then you can arm. So that's... I don't know. It's it's weird. That's one of the many reasons why I don't recommend this F4 flight controller with an OSD. They've got some some work to do there. Uh, these props, mine are just all sorts of banged up, and, and I'm a little bit dirty down here. We've gotten 
quite a bit of rain still, but I've snuck outside a few times in order to get uh, some flights in. I've got a little hang on back here with this prop, but I like these props. I do think if we wanted to make some immediate improvements, I think the camera pod um, could actually have a couple little like loops or holsters that would just come off the edge around each side and then we could run our antenna up through it you know if they could print something on there that would be great I do like the fact that we've got this lower hole in the back of the camera pod that we can fish our wires through in this case I fish my OSD and my power wires through there if we printed a flat spot for a micro buzzer that might help it sit in there and be more stable I just used a little bit of hot glue which is and I just not a fan of, but um, I, I do like the camera mount, and I like the fact that you can change the angle on it, and it doesn't take much fuss. You just grab it and push it back. Of course, with all the wires I've got back here, I have to do some finagling to get it much more than about like this, but, you know, as you can see there, that's that's pretty steep. If, if this is level, that's quite a bit of pitch, uh, but that's pretty much how I was flying out back. It's a lot of fun. Again, I was flying it on 3S. Um, my tune isn't great. I, I'm not necessarily happy with it, but I don't know if it's just a little bit of banged up props or I'm trying to fly. I'm flying too hard or I'm not flying right to where I have all that prop wash when I do the hard 180 turns. You can't really see it in the video so much, but you can hear it. And we've got some wobbles in there when it's trying to catch itself. And I, I don't know if that can be tuned out or not. I've seen a number of different quads where you always have some, especially on these micros when you start really throwing them around hard. You do one hard, hard 180 turns. You either drive around it. In other words, you don't let it coast back and then settle and then hit the throttle to take back off. Uh, you just kind of you turn around it and you keep stay on the throttle. Or when you start to come back you have to immediately change your angle a little bit so you're not sitting back in your own air you have to kind of change your angle a little bit to take off again but you can fly through that prop wash a little bit or you can try to tune it out um, I don't get too finicky about my tunes if I'm having fun I fly it and I think that's kind of where we all should be you know just have fun this is a great hobby and we're so fortunate at this time that we have so many micro frames to choose from it seemed like last year was the year of the micro brushed and this year looks like it's the year of the micro brushless and I'm all for that we've been churning out a lot of these we have a lot of great frame designers Airblade obviously they've got a number of good frame designs we've seen two now on the channel uh, this one's really simple it's just a true X and you just got your stack with a, a nice camera mount here on top the camera mounts come with uh, two different foots uh, or feet I should say uh, one to where if you rotate 45 degrees you have this uh, star shape and then the other one if you're standard where you have flat side at the front of your board um, to where you can mount the camera either way and I have a couple spares in that and that's what I, I weighed in the intro uh, I did smack this thing into a tree pretty good and it sounded horrible it was kind of funny because the vehicle just came to rest in the crotch of the tree and the only worst to wear is if you can see it right here this prop bent quite a bit it's clear so it's not going to come through very well but I've got a wrinkle I just can't get out right here because the prop bent and twisted and that was really it I don't see any chips in any of the carbon fiber it looks like really high quality carbon fiber because uh, I was sure I had at least broken the pod uh, I just I just was sure of it you know this is all nylon I didn't use metal screws through here I used nylon and I was certain that I had broken one of them but we're still solid. There's really not much for me to say. I didn't do a build video. We've done a number of these builds. Uh, super simple stack. Um, I've got a couple tutorials on things that might come in handy like motor mapping because usually when I'm doing these ESCs anymore I don't worry about whether I'm putting the wires on the right ESCs. I just put them on however I put them on and then I go into beta flight and I just remap them. It's, it's not hard. There is a bit of risk so if you flash beta flight again you also have to do the resource editing again for motor mapping. Once I get a machine flying, though, I don't tend to flash it all the time. If there's got to be a problem or I'm changing out boards, that's the only reason why I would flash. Um, you guys might be doing something different. You might be trying different versions of beta flight on the same vehicle all the time. I just don't do that. But it's something to consider. I really don't have much more to say. Uh, I'm just enjoying all these micros that we get to build and fly and have a great time. If you have any comments or questions about this vehicle, please leave those in the section down below. And thanks for watching.